All right, welcome everybody to Diamonds. Um, <clears throat> in this base, I've been just uh, messing around with it till I finally got it. Um, I don't necessarily love it, but I was trying to make f a free-handed honeycomb into a clan base, so all of that is honeycombed and works decently. Um, we got our external gatehouses, three of them. Uh, it's the three-sided base. You've got your turrets. Um, you've got places for large furnaces and oil refineries. More turrets. Um, these turrets can be locked in by adding those. Basically, what you do, you just add a frame here. Or it can be a floor. And then, let's go like that. And the reason that this can't be placed here is because there is a roof tile there. But if you break the roof tile, you're able to place that and then replace the roof tile. Fun! Now this is a completely protected turret. If they wanted to shoot out the turret, they would have to first shoot out the floor. Um, into the... Four. You've got this turret guarding both sets of doors. Um, you've got those on all of the midway gaps. As you hop up here, you've got front door. We've actually got two front doors. You've got that one there, and then you've got this one here. Um, on the first, on the second floor, actually, this is not the first floor. You've got your batteries. Um, some furnaces, but mainly this is all just for honeycomb, because everything here is honeycombed. On the first floor, you have your drop boxes, your starter, your TC, right? Um, all of this is honeycombed. Um, or they have to blow through a wall and a garage door to get into your TC. DC is also honeycombed on that wall there. So, jump out here. Here we've got our bedrooms. And a couple of dr more drop boxes and a imperfect shooting floor. Um, these drop boxes are fun just because if they want to blow into here, they're just going to get four boxes for the price of several rockets. Um, you can put whatever you want in there, guns, whatever, when you get offline. I'm working on getting these to be bunkers. Uh, they would be exterior bunkers, where you would build off of here, you build up, and then you'd open up your bunker. Um, I'm working on that still. I will get that eventually, but for now, these offer some pretty good peaks um, throughout all your compound. You can run up into here. Or you can go up to your shooting floor, which we will go up to in just a moment. Um, you've got your open core on this floor here. You've got hop-ups to shooting floor. But the open core is this. So I'm going to connect these boxes to all the other boxes so that I can just drop it in there and then it goes in here. You've got your turrets peeking down into your open, open core. Um, on this, you also have your hop-up to your next floor, and... Yeah, this is too tall. You can peek down into the hop-up, or if they are peeking down into your hop-up and these are closed, you can just shoot them right in the face, which would be nice. The turrets also cover this floor. They cover these openings, so if they ever ladder up into your shooting floor, um, and they get up into here, right? Because they're going to come up here, they're going to put a ladder, and then they're going to jump on that ladder, and then try and make it around this corner, which is very difficult, and then come into your shooting floor. If they do that, and there's nowhere they can go. They can run this way, they'll get shot by a turret. They can run this way, they'll get shot by a turret. Um, yeah, they're not going to have a really fun day um, standing on your shooting floor. It's, it's going to suck gonna suck so um 
roof is a little bit different. I decided to make a double chain link fence. Wherever they are on this roof, they're not going to have a good day. Um, it's going to be pretty hard for them to shoot down at those turrets. Uh, one thing you can actually do for these is put them on a stand like this. So now, not only are they harder to hit with a rocket, but if they were to firebomb your turret, it would crash, create fire, and then the fire would go underneath the turret rather than onto the turret. So that's a good way to do that. Um, pretty much there's no, there is no firebombing these turrets at all. You are going to have to use um, explosive ammo or something from afar. Or if you do rocket it, it's going to take two rockets to break this first and then three rockets for each turret. So, or at least three, rocket for, three rockets for the group of turrets. Excuse me. But then you started to kill all those. So, um, that is where we're at right now. These three windmills will obviously not power uh, 20... Well, they might power 25 turrets. But let's say they didn't power 25 turrets. Um, you can also build windmills off of these. Um, fairly easy. They actually just go directly around these. Um, it does allow people to sort of ladder up here and get into your compound, but it still leaves them unable to get through that, which is just disgusting. Um, yeah, but this is diamonds. Um, the reason that I call it diamonds is... If you wipe to foundations, it's basically just wrap. Sorry, let me reset that. Wipe to foundations is what I wanted. Wipe to foundations, confirm. There we go. It's just a bunch of diamonds. Um, and if you are curious as to how these work, um, let me just show you really quick. If you're not curious as to how they work, then feel free to leave the video. Um, it's one square, three triangles, one square, three triangles, all the way around. If you put a square here, you can put two triangles, that's simple. This is the difficult one, where you need to do the freehand. Um, it needs to be built before these. But you're going to look... We want to connect the triangles to here. It's going to look, you know, something like that. That flash. So you want to look away from where you want to place your triangles. Because you're going to build a square, and then a square back off of that. So it's going to end up over there. Um... You would build this out of twig, you would look into this corner. My favorite way to put it is you're looking for as close to the center dot as you possibly can. I have to get rid of this real quick. Alrighty. Flash, flash, flash. Now what you're going to do, you're not going to look down, you're going to just back up. And then when you paste this, it connects just ever so slightly. It's not quite as perfect as that. But the way that you know if you did it correctly is if you place this here, this wall should stop phasing through like that. And this should be above 70%. If you place a wall and it's not connected, it's going to be 70% exactly. But if it is connected, it's going to be above 70%. And then we can delete these, and there you go. 
There's our first set. I'll do it one more time. Just because I want to. For my own practice. You look away from where you want to go. Obviously, you would be placing this in twig. Dang it. Like that. You place it. Close to the center of those two triangles as you can. Back up a tad. Build this back. And then you are pretty much good to go. Um. We're just going to make sure that this is above 70%. Yes, it is. We got another wall here. It becomes 78%. And we got a wall here. I thought it was 79. Maybe it's just after you add this. Nope. Well, once you do the whole thing, it's probably 79%. 87%. Don't ask me how that shoots up, but it does. Um, once everything's connected, if you wall in an entire triangle, the percentage that it holds in stability goes up tremendously. But those are the three triangles that you're doing. Um, this is honeycombed. Before you would upgrade these, you would want to build what I had here. There you are. That's basically what I had. We could even do that. So I did notice an edit that I'm probably gonna end up doing. Um, mainly that edit is having this here, having another one come out I don't think I can build that with that there shit yeah never mind then um, so yeah you can just delete these you can upgrade these to whatever you need you make them your gatehouses and there you go Diamonds. A pretty simplified version of freehanding. I'm gonna work on freehands more. And once I get another base built, I'll let you guys know.